Hey friends, Dan here for your May installment of Vinyl Finds. I uh, started doing these a few months back and I'm trying to do them every month. So these are, uh, these are music purchases that I have made um, over the past month. And uh, this month, this month started off a little slow, actually. It, it's funny because about mid-month, I, I got to thinking and I, I said, I don't know if I'm going to have much of a, a Vinyl Finds video uh, this month. But, of course, it picked up. Um, about mid-month, I picked up a few things. And then about a week ago, I went to my local record store and walked out with four albums. So... I got a few for you, so let's just jump right into them. It's not a huge, uh, huge month for me, which is okay. Um, you know, saving a little money. Uh, first, first album that I got is uh, the um, best of the band. This is a uh, Capitol Records. This was uh, released in seventy, I do believe seventy six, maybe, and. Uh, you know, the band is such a great band. And this has got um this has got quite a few of their, you know, their radio friendly hits that most people have heard. And um just a just a really good album. It sounds really good. And I think I only paid ten dollars for this because it was used. Um the cover was the cover had it looked like it had gotten damp or maybe had a little damage, but I got a little um I got a little magic eraser on it and um, cleaned up pretty well, actually. The record itself, the vinyl's in great shape. Um, sounds good, plays good. So, really a nice copy of this one. It's got, it makes no difference. The night they drove old Dixie down. The shape I'm in. Um, up on Cripple Creek. The weight. You know, all the big stuff. Uh, the only one that, um, there were a couple songs, obviously. There's a bunch of other songs out there that the band's done, but, um, overall, you know, it's a nice little, nice little $10 used album. Um, next album that I got is, uh, this was kind of for my wife. Um, my wife, when we first met, she used to listen to a lot of CDs in her office when she was at work. And she liked to listen to a lot of um, just kind of quiet, kind of, you know, just meditative type music. And one of her favorites was George Winston. And so I found this record at the local shop again. This is, um, this is um, piano solos. This is December. It's kind of embossed here. You can't see. But um, this is just him, him doing solo piano. It's just a very nice, relaxing, soothing, kind of a quiet album. And I think I probably paid $5 for this. Um, excellent shape. And uh, so I kind of got this for her. And I sat down and listened to it the other day. And, uh, you know, it's just nice. I mean, he's put out a ton of albums. And um, I saw this one, so I just grabbed it. You know, no big deal. Uh, next one, another used album that I got. I think it was on the last vinyl finds I uh, posted on the... Well, it was in the box of records that I was given. was the Minute Work Cargo album. And I remember I was like, yeah, it'd be nice to get the uh, business as usual. Well, lo and behold, I go into the shop and he's got a copy of Business as Usual... And um, he had two copies, and one of them, um, this one was cheaper. Uh, it was graded a little bit lower. And I think the reason that it was graded lower is because the cover of it was, like, kind of jacked up. But once again, I came home and I got my, uh, I got my um, magic eraser on it. And, and it looks like I thought that the cover was messed up. But it looks like another cover stuck to it. And so it wasn't that this cover was necessarily um, destroyed. It was just there were pieces of the other cover stuck to it. 
and they're still a little bit on here but I just didn't want to get too 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 rough with it but it still came out really nice and honestly the record the vinyl on this one was in much better shape than the one that he had for a higher price and uh, also this one on the back this is a promo copy so that's kind of interesting but uh yeah and this one uh, you know it's got the liner with the uh, lyrics and all that kind of stuff so really cool i think i got i think i got the better deal honestly i think this one was in better shape than the one that that was higher priced and um sounds great sounds really good so i felt like that was a that's a pretty good deal i think i think i paid i think i paid five dollars for this so really good really good fun album this is an album from my youth i remember seeing these guys on mtv back in the day and enjoying them and you know all their hits um so yeah and then uh speaking of uh, five dollar albums here's another one this is a uh, less less brown and his band renowned and i'm not gonna lie the uh the album cover caught my attention <laughs> I was looking through, but I was looking through like the big band section, uh, big band uh, kind of orchestra, that kind of stuff, and this one caught my attention because I thought it was just a neat cover, obviously, you know, a pretty girl on it, but um, a really nice record. I really like, this is, I like this type of music anyway. I've talked about it a lot. Um, I like a uh, big band and... Um, kind of symphonic type music and stuff like this and this one's this one's fun this is just what i would consider just a fun upbeat um instrumental album so five dollars again i mean to get a, a record for five dollars in good shape and this one is in excellent shape this is a deca um this one is from you can see in there uh deca from oh let's see what's the date on this bad boy I don't think it has a date. I'd have to look it up. I logged it in my Discogs account and I found it in there, but I'm not sure. I don't think it has a date on the album. But anyway, I'm guessing it's probably from... It's probably from the late 60s is what I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure because... I'd have to look it up. But anyway, um, no, it sounds great. Plays great. Uh, just a fun album. You know, it's just one of those you just put in and just let it go. By the way, a little different view today and maybe not quite as good a video quality. Um, partially because it's just been kind of a long week so far. And um, sometimes I put off doing these videos because I just don't want to set up all my stuff. So I've kind of got like a little hacky setup tonight, and um, I also uh, I also just wanted to do a little change of scenery. So I'm in the same room that I do most of my videos in. I'm just tilted about 90 degrees uh, because I'm sitting in front of my uh, albums and you know my setup. But part of it was I just didn't want to pull out my good light and all that kind of stuff. So I just have a little small ring light here and. You know, I got my um, snowball mic up here. But anyway, something a little different just to change it up. Okay, on to the next couple of records, and there's only a couple more. Um, this is another one of those... Uh, this is another one of those um, Walmart exclusives that Walmart has been doing. This is the... They, they've done this series, um, this Austin City Limits series... And it's live at Awesome. And this is New West Records that's putting these out. And I guess Walmart kind of latched on to them. And I have several of them. And I've talked about them. Um, I've talked about them in my videos um, when I've gotten them. I have Johnny Cash. I have Waylon Jennings. I have Merle Haggard. Um, I have this one now. And there's one more I think that I have. I don't remember. But... 
I really, I really like these. I think as a package, these are a really nice, uh, these are a really nice deal because a couple of them, this one is a, a double record set. One or two of them are just single records, but this one's a double record, and I think the Johnny Cash one may be a double record. But what's really cool about them is not only do you get the uh, the album, but you also get a DVD of the same concert. So this is the concert that's on the album. And, I mean, this one's got 14 songs on it. And, you know, it's the same lineup that the album has, but it's just the concert video. And so the Waylon and uh, Johnny Cash and all those, they have the same thing. They have the DVD. So I just think these are really cool. This one's a gatefold album. And I, I just think as a package and as a presentation, I, I think these are good. I think this is a nice, uh, it kind of makes it worth your money. And these aren't really super expensive either. Um, where they, where these are sourced from, I don't know. I, I, I imagine it's probably some kind of a digital source, but they're just, they're, to me, they're kind of fun albums. They're, they're good concerts and, um, and they just, uh, like I said, it's just a good presentation and they're not expensive. Uh, this is a double LP and I think I paid under $30 for it with, with the, uh, DVD. So yeah, so these are pretty cool. I like these. Um, the only one, like I said, the only one that they have out now that I don't have is, uh, I think it's, I think it's the Merle Haggard one. I think, no, it's the Chris Christopherson one. That's the only one I don't have. I do have Merle Haggard. I don't have the Chris Christopherson one. And I'll probably pick it up. Some of them, the set list is not like... It's probably from an album that they were promoting at the time, so they're not all, it's not all greatest hits and stuff. And I think that's the thing with the Chris Christopherson one. Um, it only had a couple of songs that I really enjoy. You know, Me and Bobby McGee, um, Help Me Make It Through the Night, uh, just a couple of those, you know, some of the stuff of his classics. But then the rest of it was stuff that I, I'm not like a, a Chris Christopherson expert or whatever, so... Um, but I may get it just to have it, you know, since I have pretty much the entire collection of these albums. And um, like I said, they're cool. They're really cool albums. And, you know, people like to poop on the Walmart stuff. You know, every video I post, I get comments about, you know, F Walmart and all that kind of stuff. And that's fine. That's your opinion. But if it's if it's something that I'm interested in. I don't care where it comes from. I'm, I'm buying albums from everywhere. And I live three miles from Walmart. And so when I go to Walmart, I walk through the record section every time. And if I see something that jumps out at me, I'm going to get it. Because sometimes that's the only place that you can get stuff like that. So that's my opinion on Walmart. Um, two more records. Uh, I've talked about this guy ad nauseum, so not going to... Not gonna beat the dead horse, but um, I have I've have some of his CDs and I have you know monster playlist of his um, on Spotify. But I finally wanted to just pick up some of his records, the actual vinyl, and these are two that I got. I got uh, something more than free. This is Jason Isbell solo, uh, fantastic album. I mean, every everything that. Everything that he does, I just, I love. I mean, this one's got, if it takes a lifetime, 24 frames, Children of Children, Speed Trap Town, The Life You Choose, Chose, sorry, The Life You Chose. But yeah, just, I, I, I mean, I can't, I can't say enough about Jason Isbell. I, I just absolutely love him. And that's a really nice album. And last but not least, uh, keeping on the Jason Isbell, um, this is um, Live at the Ryman Auditorium. And this is him with the 400 unit. The other one was when he was solo. This is uh, Jason Isbell and the 400 unit, Live at the Ryman. Nice presentation, nice packaging. It's got this little cutout with the little slip thing behind it. This is a double album. It's a live album. And a uh, nice presentation, but I have to say, 
this is not the greatest pressing. It's it's a little disappointing. And I've seen a few places where people said the kind of the same. The mix on this album is just not it's just it just doesn't blow me away. It it really doesn't. Um the drums are are too far back in the mix. Um the vocals are very forward. Uh, the guitar, I think the bass is even more forward than the guitar is. And, you know, you've got two guitars. You've got Isbell and you've got um, Sadler Vaden. So, as much as I love the set list on this album and the presentation uh, of this album, because it's a really nice package and um, a great set list. In fact, the version... Of Cover Me Up that's on this album is probably my favorite version uh, of, of that song because Sadler Sadler just crushes the slide guitar solo. It is just and if you go watch videos, go on YouTube and watch videos, and they're at the they're at the Ryman Auditorium and he's got this just dirty, grungy slide guitar solo going, and it just it just kills, absolutely kills. So, um, great concert, not so great mix. Just, it's a little disappointing because the drums are just, the drums are kind of lost in the mix. Isabel's vocals are out there. The bass is up front. So, I don't know. Um, I mean, nice to have, I guess, as a completionist, but as a sound quality um it's a little disappointing so well it is what it is you know but the record itself the set list itself the music quality is it's just uh, it's just fantastic i mean just the isbel's isbel's songwriting and the instrumentation he has such an awesome band so for that reason, I, I, I think it's a really it's a really great album. Um, just lacking in the mix a little bit. Um, anyway, so there you go. That was it. That was my um, that was my uh, vinyl May. I have already started on my June stuff. I just ordered today. I just ordered the CD of Prince and the Revolution, the live album that is coming out tomorrow. Uh, today is the second. It comes out tomorrow, Friday the 3rd. And I just ordered the CD version of that. And the reason I ordered the CD version of it, excuse me, is the CD version comes with a DVD, um, a Blu-ray actually. So... It's a live concert video that they did during the kind of the Purple Rain era. And it's got a lot of great stuff on it. And the, it is being released on vinyl. Um, but like I said, I chose the CD because I wanted to get the, uh, the live Blu-ray disc. So a little bit of a trade-off, which is fine. It's cool. I've been buying, I've been buying some more CDs here and there. So now that I've got my CD player hooked back up. So I, I, I kind of looked at the total package. And so you get the CD and you get the DVD, which if you order on vinyl, you don't get uh, you don't get any type of a DVD. And I kind of like the concert DVDs. So uh, another thing that I am excited about is the re-release or remaster of Dio's Holy Diver album. That comes out, I believe, I believe that comes out in a couple of weeks. And it's coming out on CD and it's coming out on um, vinyl. And that's another one that I was kind of on the fence. I wanted to get the record, but the CD, to me, I feel is a better package. It's going to offer me a lot more for my money granted it's not quite it's about 15 dollars more for the cd 
However, you get, I feel like you get a lot more. So the remastered, the remastered album, you basically get the remastered album with, um, a, I think a bonus, a bonus song with the remastered CD, you get the new master of the studio album. Then you get, uh, sorry, it's like a, it's not, it's a remix. It's remixed. So you get um, the remix of the original studio album. Then you also get a remaster of the studio album. Then you get a live CD. And then you get another disc with demos, um, alternate takes, and things like that. So for me, for an extra 15 or so dollars, I feel like the package is a lot better offer. And if you go on to the streaming services, you can listen to the remixed, um, the new remix version. It's already out there and compare it to the original. But I like the idea of having the remix, but then you still get the original mix just remastered. So, um, and you get, like I said, you get a live concert and you get some kind of B-side stuff and some demo stuff and things like that. So I am going to get that one on CD also because I feel like there's more bang for your buck there. Um, if you get the vinyl version, all you get is the re the remixed album, and that's it. So I like the bigger package. I like getting the remixed and the original. I don't see that there's a huge difference in them. There's a little bit. You can hear you can hear a little bit of a difference in them, um, but I do like the idea of getting the live tracks and some of the demos and stuff like that because I like all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that one's coming out here shortly, um, and then Prince and the Revolution is coming out, and those are those are two that are you know in my near future that I'm looking forward to. Um, there's a few there's a few jazz albums that are coming out in the next couple of months that I have in my you know in my cart and my wait list and stuff like that. But for right now, um, as far as new releases for me at least, it's kind of quiet. Um, I'm still I'm still looking at used albums and things like that, but um, not a lot of new stuff out that I'm, you know, getting too excited for. So, anyway, um, all right. Well, look, that's it. That is uh, that is um, May. Yeah, that is my May vinyl finds. Thanks for watching. I do have a couple of things coming up here pretty shortly. Um, my local record store has. Uh, he's told me that he's. He'd be willing to work with me a little bit if I do a little bit of, uh, you know, throw his name out there that uh, we may be able to do an album giveaway. So I, I will probably do that sometime here in the near future. I just need to decide what album I want to give away. It depends on what he's willing to give me. And, um, and it, of course, it's, gonna, it's going to go out to subscribers. So if you are interested in, in the future, the potential of a, a free record um subscribe to my channel and uh i kind of poke at you a little bit there but anyway um so look for that in the future and i'm also going to come up with a few other things that i've got in the works one of the things i'm going to do probably here pretty soon is i'm going to do a um a heavy rotation video and i'm just going to show some of the albums that seem to be kind of my go-tos that I keep going back to and keep pulling out and keep playing and even some that I like to play for my friends because of their sonic quality and stuff like that. So I'm going to do something like that here pretty soon too. So anyway, okay, uh, thanks for watching my video and I will see you again soon. All right, bye.